Hello, today I'm gonna try to show you how to install a DVD player for your vehicle. This is the DVD player, this is what came from the seller. You have a user's manual and the wires, a remote screw for the plate that holds the DVD player some spare screws and the wire the wire that you'll get the power on the yellow wire goes to the battery so that means you need to find a source that the current is always on even if you turn off the uh, ignition key the power should still be on the red wire the red wire is an ACC wire that means when you turn your ignition to first position it means you should be getting your currency I'm gonna show you how to test that later on here are the tools that we would be needing a drill bit a handrail a wire we're gonna use this to uh, tuck in the wire underneath the seat scissor razor blade a wire cutter or splitter or stripper electrical tape wire connector and a currency test light okay this is what the plate looks like this came from the seller uh, it's got three drill holes on them but you might still be needing to drill your own holes to hold the plate which I did uh, you would need to attach this plate to the beam this is uh, by the uh, dome light this is where you get your red wire uh, source you can get the yellow wire from the uh, which is right here the air vent or the air duct which I did initially here if you have a live wire from your air vent then you could use that for your yellow wire in my case I didn't have one so I have to go underneath the seat and find the wire that has the live wire or the current that is always on I found my source right here it's a power seat so I got some uh, juice from here and I'm gonna show you how to test uh, the I found the juice right here uh, it's underneath the seat uh, you could do directly to the battery on the positive side but uh, I'd like I'd like to do it uh, this way okay I'm gonna show you how to test the currency the wire of the tester is too short so I have to uh, make it longer and connect to the wire from the uh, alligator clip 
this black wire should go to the negative chassis of the car which you can hook up right here so now that the wire is secure we're gonna have to go right here this is where I get my yellow wire uh, first you would have to disconnect the thing and do some testing on it but it may depend on your vehicle in my case this is where I find my source you're just gonna have to point on the coppers that are exposed and poke like that Okay, the light is on, so there's power. And find that wire. And strip it and make a connection, an extension wire. Then we go under here, the carpet. Late, later I'm gonna try to tuck it in here it goes up here to the by the door and like that I'm gonna tuck that all in and it should come out right here by the vent from the vent it's gonna go through the dome light that's where the DVD player is gonna be okay checking the red wire power I got some power from the dome light uh, first you're gonna have to disconnect this or whatever uh, wiring you have to check on but in my case this is where I found my juice okay I'm poking my uh, tester right now and you see the, the light is not turning on but when you first turn on your ignition the light should come on if it doesn't come on then that wire is not good you're gonna have to find another wire where you first turn on your ignition the light should go on okay I turned on the ignition to first position poking again nothing this one there is light so that is the source for the red wire okay now that we found the power source it's time to turn out the ignition and it's a good idea to cover the wire like an electrical tape or whatever tape you have this should be the yellow wire but I'm using a blue wire I don't have a yellow wire but it should be fine as long as you know that that's the wire you're working on with okay let me show you something this plate comes from the seller it's gonna come with six free drill holes one two three four five six that's where the uh, DVD unit it's gonna be screwed on that's where it's gonna get connected but right here one two 
3 and 4 that's attached to the chassis of the car. 1, 2 is drilled to the beam. 1, 2 I stuck a uh, like a plywood in there or I inserted a plywood like a 5x5 five five thickness no measurement about half an inch thick and that should hold it really good okay I'm gonna hide the wires the yellow wire is that goes underneath the seat I attach it with the coat hanger and secure it with the tape it's gonna go under this opening carpet thing right here you might not have to do this if you have a source on your dome light but I didn't this is a 2003 uh, minivan Kia Sedona EX or if you have a source on your vent you don't have to do this but in my case this is the way to go I don't want to go to the battery directly okay we have uh, removed the screws from here into here so we can uh, hide the wire uh, it's gonna go here and then through the rubber going to the dome light okay I'm here to show you that the wires are now connected you also need to connect the black wire which is negative to the chassis of the car red wire and yellow wire we're gonna power on the unit see if it works okay good deal guess we got lucky it's powering on everything seems to work right so we're gonna finally uh, hook it up on the on the car here the wire got hidden now uh, you don't see them anymore it's all clean now uh, basically it's the same thing as installing a car stereo you have three wires which is yellow red and ground I'd like to show you one thing before I go. These wires are for video output and audio output and also a uh, S video cable. It also have a uh, USB port and a SD card. over here I'd like to show you how it got connected to the roof of the van remember those holes of the plate all you gotta do is match these holes to the plate and tighten them really well it's pretty much self-explanatory but I thought I still show you how it got connected as far as the speakers are concerned you can hook up the wires on your stereo if you have an auxiliary uh, mode uh, but in my case I don't have that I just have a uh, factory stereo so I think I'm gonna go with just a portable or a mini speaker and kinda just hook it up on this uh, output okay project done I hide all my wiring to this cutout hole right there uh, that's from the dome light when I got the van it was already like that I hope uh, 
these help you how to install DVD player on your vehicle. Thank you. Have a nice day.